Hey guys, if you saw my poll video from earlier today, um, you noticed that I got myself two copies of Stardust Elena, um, and with the help of some unit of choice tickets, I got myself a Neovisions Lauren. Um, so now I'm going to be just doing some of the new weekly content, which I don't know yet, it might be super trivial face roll and not even worth recording. It might be really challenging, and I might get my team destroyed. I don't know. I'm going in blind. Um, I spent, you know, the afternoon cleaning up my inventory from all the fusing, uh, gearing the, or leveling the new units, gearing them, etc., etc. And now I'm just going in directly into the new content without looking it up. And I'm going to record it because why not? And then later tonight, I'll get into Dark Visions, which is probably the more interesting stuff. But for now, I'm going to do a test run with Elena. Um, so you may notice I still have two copies of Stardust Elena. I thought about it. I decided I'm going to keep the second copy instead of breaking her down. I went ahead and spent 5k and bought the shard bundle so I can EX plus one like my primary Elena, so to speak. Uh, so this is the Elena that I, I focused on. She's got stat pots, door pots, etc. I'm gearing her the best. Um, this will be my primary Elena I'll take to like Trials, Dark Visions, and all that. So this is how I currently have her geared. Um, no killers, because I don't really know what we're doing yet today. Um, here's her card. I can only get it to level 7 because uh, Cactuar. I only had, had enough Cactuars to get it to level 7. Um, but here is the build I'm using for now. And again, I didn't put it in the builder. I just built this by hand really quickly. It might not be her best build. I'm sure it isn't, in fact. But whatever. Um, because I'm using uh, the old Elena's STMR, I can skip the regular TMR for Elena. So I can use, um, you know, Fusion Sword, Enhancer, Plus Plus. Uh, it doesn't have an item world yet, but whatever. And then I've got two basically open materia slots. I just stuck in some EP and status immunity for them because whatever. I don't know what killers we're going to need. So here's my, my base form. Uh, my shift form is mostly the same thing. We're just gearing um, double-handed. So we got Astronea, which activates her passive. Uh, I did STMR Moogle, the extra copy, like I mentioned on my video. I went ahead and did it. I think the I think her STMR is worth it. So I have Azure Radiance. And again, I don't really know what we're going for, so I don't have any like LB damage or whatever. I I'm still figuring her out. We're gonna we're gonna learn as we go. But that's my Elena. Um, my second Elena, uh, you know, is EX0, she's not door potted, she's not even fully potted at all. Um, whatever, you know, who cares? She, she's still going to be a good chainer, and the reason I'm keeping her primarily, honestly, is for the arena. Um, arena matters more than usual these days because of the Cactuar cards, and while arena isn't hard to win in, um, two Elenas chaining together will make it even easier and just, you know, less headaches. So I'm keeping a second, I'm keeping the second copy of Elena mostly for the arena also she'll be good for chaining stuff like solo content whatever but anyway here is my secondary elena not as good as the first um i gave her the leftover gear she's using her own tmr because she doesn't have the elena stuff i can't shift so whatever um here's lauren ex0 i didn't buy the bundle for ex plus one i still may it costs three thousand i don't know if i really need it uh I'll think about it maybe later in the week I will. For now, I'm keeping her at EX0. And for this stuff, because I'm going in blind, I geared her defensively, not for damage. So we've got some Esper fill, some status immunity, a lot of bulk, some support stuff, you know, whatever. Here is original Alina, 6 or 7 star. Um, I geared her as a healer, dual cast, Tome of Lakshmi, some Esper fill, some modifier boost for healing, you know. I don't know what we're doing, so she's going to be our support unit. And then Yoshikiri is going to be my tank. He's got, again, I don't know if I need it. This is a blind run. Uh, death immunity, passive provoke, status immunity, full evasion, just the usual tank stuff. And he does his, you know, support things. So that'll be great, potentially. There's our team. So we're going to start off with the legendary Elena fight. Which is probably going to be easy, I'm guessing. I don't know. We'll see. Training with Elena. Uh, I haven't done it yet. As you can see, I did the first two versions. They were easy, but to be expected. This one's probably going to be easy, too. This might not, might not even be worth recording. Whatever. Three or more LBs, Elemental Chain, and no KOs. That should be fine. Let's just grab an Elena. Racer's got one set up. Looks great. Um, let's go. 
All right, so we want to do three LBs, so I guess we want to power up our Lena's on turn one. Uh, she goes first. Yeah, I don't know if this is a bug or intentional, but instead of buffing herself, she's breaking herself. That's strange. I don't know. It might be intentional. Who knows? Uh, but let's go ahead and Stella Maris. And because I don't want to um, kill her, and she might die in one hit, I don't know. We're going to just use a bunch of non-offensive power-ups for turn one. Which don't actually deal damage. Uh, Lauren is going to break. I don't want to attack because the first ones were pretty easy. They died like instantly. And this one may as well. So I don't want to, I don't want to possibly kill her. Um, one of these gives us mitigation. Alright, reduces damage taken. Let's go ahead and give us mitigation for, for this Alina. And then we'll do, uh, let's see, Hikamori and some buffs. Alright. Let's see how strong this boss is. Okay, evasion works. Good to know. Okay, so... Seems fine. I don't know. Let's go ahead and do three LBs. Oh, apparently this LB is laggy as the original Alina's is. That was the problem with the original Alina, is um, her LB was really laggy for some reason. At least for rec when I recorded it is. Okay, well, she died quick. Ah, uh, the LB breaks, apparently. Ah, oh, the second half changed. That's good. To oh, it breaks again. Yeah, that LB. Not really happy about that. Oh, well. It killed her. So that's good to know. Alright, so that one was super easy. Let's let's go to the Insignia boss, which is probably more challenging. I kinda I kinda figured that one would be easy. Now we know that it is. Alright. Whatever. And then the metals. It's kinda like a moggy bin or something. All right, so that, that was that was that was easy. Let's go to the next thing, which is gonna be the versus heroes, Elena. Uh, we've got easy and we've got hard. So let's see. Um, okay, light damage three times, no items, no KOs. It seems fine. Let's grab an Elena friend. Roberto sounds good. Let's go. All right, so we need to do light damage three times. Okay, she goes first. Okay, this one buffs. Good to know. Alright, so we want to do light damage three times. I guess we'll do Stella Maris, Lux Overflow, and Gemini Blade. Um, Stella Maris, Lux Overflow, and Gemini Blade. The friend. Stella, Lux, Gemini Blade. Alright, Lauren. We're going to want to dispel the boss. I've never used Neo Vision's Lauren. That I know we want to do, and um, I don't know what else. This, I guess. I don't want to kill the boss, so I don't want to really attack her yet. I don't think that would kill kill her anyway, but who knows? Can her buffs be dispelled? They can be. Can I Libra the boss? I didn't bring a Libra, did I? I oh wait, did I did I just see a Libra? View info. Okay, view info. Well, if you can see the info, let's go. Oh, hey, it works. Okay. Um, resist everything. Good to know. Uh, let's see. It can be broken with swords, great swords, katana. Pretty much everything. Swords, great swords, katana, staff, and rod. Okay. Let's go ahead and chain on her. See what kind of damage we deal. Okay. Easy mode died instantly. I expected that. Hard mode is usually going to be the hard one. But now we know. Um, so everything breaks the boss pretty much. Alright. Stage clear. Now let's go to the hard mode. Which may or may not be hard. We're going to find out. And I actually don't need regular Elena on this team. 
Uh, she was only for a bonus from the other event. But I don't feel like, I don't feel like swapping it out and being lazy. Uh, water damage, no items, no KOs. Okay, easy. Uh, let's grab any Lena friend, if we can find one. Aki, looking good. Uh, let's see. So, pretty much every weapon breaks the boss. Um, great sword and rods, yes. Rods and shields. Well, we're going to keep the shield. Uh, daggers don't, but we're going to keep it anyway for the evasion. Yeah, this is fine. It should be fine. Let's do it. Alright, so we need to do a water damage. Alright, the boss preemptively buffs on this version as well. Alright, let's see. Lauren is going to... Uh, let's go ahead and dispel the boss with the Magnus. And Lauren will... Um, Cast some barrages. Let's see here. Let's see if the break gauge is dumb like the, the last one was. Alright, it looks like this break gauge is not going down like I hope it would. Okay, we're gonna we're, we're gonna just ignore that break gauge because apparently it's Goom <laughs> apparently Goomy's idea of a good time is a break gauge that just doesn't actually break. Actually, isn't this the better way to do it? The, the Magnus? I think it is, actually. Overflow and Magnus. Um, let's see. Stella, Aqua Overflow, and the Magnus. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's see what kind of damage we do. Well, okay. Okay. So, this one's way easier than Itachi is. <laughs> Just grab Starlight and Lena and one-shot her on turn one. Okay, um, maybe this video is kind of pointless. We one-shot the first boss, we one-shot the second boss. I've already, I'm already recording at this point, we're going to keep going. Okay, so we, we did it. Yeah. And that red pearl. Give me that red pearl. Love it. Love red pearls. All right. Um, well, okay. So that was that. W that was yay. I suppose we're gonna do the companion battles now, which may or may not be hard. We're gonna find out. Let's go ahead and claim all our prizes. And real quick, while I'm thinking of it, because I do have my Elena set as a friend, and I, and I I I like setting my friends the best possible. I couldn't afford to upgrade all our skills earlier. I ran out of the little insignias, but now obviously I have enough. Let's go ahead and finish maxing out my Elena. So if any friends of mine use her. You, you get the you get the full package. Yeah, I farmed enough pogs eventually to max out her skills, but she apparently has four skills to max out. Most new visions only have three, so I didn't have enough. But now I do. Now she's fully maxed out on all her skills, on both brave and base. Okay, there we go. Fully maxed out, Elena friend. Yay for my friends list. Let's go to uh, the next boss, which is going to be the companion battles. Um, versus Ut Itachi and Yoshikira. Let's do Itachi first. Let's see. We've got uh, hard and easy. We're going to go straight to hard. No KOs, no items. Deal fi oh, we deal fire damage. Ooh. Um, oh, fire damage? Okay, great. Let's grab Let's grab a fire friend. Seems fine. Uh, let me think. To chain with rain, we'd have to do Stardust Ray, which is weaker. So we're just going to use rain to um, imbue, let's see, let's imbue fire to the Yoshi. And let's do uh, some other stuff, I guess. Whatever. Alright, fire damage has been, oh, this boss is dying instantly. Why am I recording this? Why am I recording this? Did I even do all the missions? I'm sure I did. Fire damage. Fire. Yeah, I think I did all the missions. About to say, that I just waste 30 energy for nothing? But now we did. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that, that... <laughs> Exciting content, Goomy. I mean, I get these are for, for newer players, but... Really? A literally unchained, ungeared, I mean not ungeared, just not geared for that fight, friend, just literally one-shot that. No KOs, no items, fire damage again. Okay, well, 
I mean, it worked last time. Skyrius, let's go. <laughs> this will be fun. I didn't even break the ball. I didn't even break the boss. I'm using. All right, let's uh, let's fire damage. Let's prominence and rising saber. Did we just one shot again? Uh oh, uh oh. Yoshi's not stronger. I'm about to say he's dying slower. Nope. Nope, that, that was our exciting content. There was the hard mode version of the fight. All missions with a random friend on Bayamet. Okay. Well, now comes the exciting part where I spend an hour and a half building teams for Dark Visions. So, this was a pretty boring video, I suppose. Nothing really happened. I'll do the easy mode off camera because easy mode is going to be even worse. Um, yeah, so I got to gear my team and then it's time for Dark Visions. So I'll see you guys in a few hours for Dark Visions. Later.